everyone, it's Lisa with Hope for RCD again, and we're talking about secondary pulmonary hypertension in adults with sickle cell. And the study that's based out of uh, Washington, D.C. and Maryland is looking at um, the prevalence of secondary pulmonary hypertension in adults. So who can participate? Both genders are um, ages 18 or over, and it, you need to have um, sickle cell SS, SC, or sickle beta zero. And there aren't any really um, broad exclusions. You want to look at the study to see some of the really specific ones. Um, it's based in DC or at Bethesda, Maryland. So either of those places, either Howard University, you can have the test done, or you can do it at the NIH location in Maryland. And I'm going to do the objective and we'll go from there. The objective is to determine the prevalence, the prognosis of secondary pulmonary hypertension in adults with sickle cell and see if genetics contribute to severity and response to treatment. So what they're looking for is um, pulmonary hypertension is huge in the adult world. So what they want to find out is, you know, what percentage of adults develop this? And then is there a genetic component that makes it more severe, that makes it come on earlier? In addition to how many people in adults get secondary pulmonary hypertension, they're also looking at the genetics. And so they're checking through your blood to see, are there genetic markers that predispose you to have a more severe prognosis, meaning that your hypertension will get more intense and progress faster based on some genetic markers. That's their hypothesis. They don't know yet. So that's what they're, one of the things that they're really trying to study. It requires one in-hospital or in-university visit, and they're going to be getting your medical history, doing a physical examination, drawing blood, what a surprise. Um, and then they're going to be doing an echo of your heart as well because that's how they first detect pulmonary hypertension is by looking at the size of the heart and the valves and the pressure between it. And then they're going to be having a nurse contacting you ongoing for the next three years. So first time they're going to first they're going to contact you twice a month for two months, and then once every three months for the next three years after that to get a checkup on your health, see how that's going. Um, and a history of any hospitalizations, if that's happened in that time frame since the nurse has last contacted you. So that's everything for this one. The contact is Darlene Allen, 301-435-1495. Thanks, and stay tuned for the next one.